Ah, the beach. Everybody's favorite place. That is, until you get a nasty sunburn. Most people think that all you have to do is put on sunscreen to shield yourself from the sun's harmful rays. But, how much do we know about what we're smearing on our skin? Many sunscreens sold today contain titanium dioxide or zinc oxide particles. These materials are used because of their ability to protect against harmful ultraviolet radiation at short wavelengths from 200 to 400 nanometers. UV rays cause sunburn and can even cause skin cancer. However, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide particles have the ability to absorb the high energy UV rays and release the energy as low energy infrared radiation, or heat, in a process called band gap absorption. In essence, these materials can be thought of as a spring that absorbs a force and redirects it in the opposite direction. But sunscreens can be made even better if the titanium or zinc oxide materials can be made extremely small within the nano scale. What exactly is a nanoparticle? And how would smaller particles better protect our skin? A particle can be defined as nano if at least one of its dimensions is between 1 and 100 nanometers. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, and a sheet of paper is about 100,000 nanometers thick. This means that thousands of nanoparticles can fit on the edge of a sheet of paper. To explain how nano-sized particles make sunscreen better, we first need to understand this idea of band gap absorption. In bulk materials, electrons are found in discrete or specific energy levels. This means that they can only exist at specific energy levels and are never found in between them. These energy levels are similar to stairs. You can stand on one stair and step up to the next one, but you cannot stay in between the two. The band gap is the amount of energy in between these levels and can be thought of as the length of a spring. The greater the length of the spring, the greater its ability to withstand larger forces. Therefore, the longer the band gap, the higher the sunscreen's ability to withstand stronger frequencies of UV radiation. In band gap absorption, an electron absorbs UV radiation, which causes it to jump at a higher energy level. This excited electron doesn't want to stay at higher energy, however, so it drops back down, releasing the extra energy as infrared radiation, or heat. In nanoscale materials, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide particles take on different properties, such as wider band gaps. This is great for sunscreen, because it means that more energy can be absorbed, resulting in better protection from UV rays. Nanoparticles absorb most of the visible light spectrum, meaning that less light is reflected back into our eyes. This gives nano sunscreen a transparent appearance instead of the white streaks left behind by traditional sunscreens. As an added bonus, sunscreens with nanoparticles feel lighter on the skin, resulting in a less cakey feeling in comparison with sunscreen formulas containing larger particles. So, the next time we're at the beach, we can thank the nanoparticles in our banana boat for saving our skin.